Aviation biofuel is a biofuel used for aircraft. It is considered by some to be the primary means by which the aviation industry can reduce its carbon footprint. After a multi-year technical review from aircraft makers, engine manufacturers and oil companies, biofuels were approved for commercial use in July 2011. Since then, some airlines have experimented with using biofuels on commercial flights. The focus of the industry has now turned to second generation sustainable biofuels, sustainable aviation fuels that do not compete with food supplies nor are major consumers of prime agricultural land or fresh water. NASA has determined that 50% aviation biofuel mixture can cut air pollution caused by air traffic by 50 to 70%. The Sustainable Aviation Fuels certification and production pace seems insufficient to meet the IATA target of halving the CO2 emissions by 2050. Trials of using algae as biofuel were carried out by Lufthansa and Virgin Atlantic as early as 2008. Although there is little evidence that using algae is a reasonable source for jet biofuels. By 2015, cultivation of fatty acid methyl esters and alkenones from the algae, isochrysis, was under research as a possible jet biofuel feedstock. As of 2017, there was little progress in producing jet fuel from algae, with a forecast that only 3 to 5% of fuel needs could be provided from algae by 2050. Further, algae companies that formed in the early 21st century as a base for an algae biofuel industry have either closed or changed their business development toward other commodities, such as cosmetics, animal feed, or specialty oil products. <laughs> Rationale for aviation biofuels Aviation's share of the greenhouse gas emissions is poised to grow, as air travel increases and ground vehicles use more alternative fuels like ethanol and biodiesel. Currently aviation represents 2% of global emissions, but is expected to grow to 3% by 2050. In addition to building more fuel-efficient aircraft and operating them more efficiently, changing the fuel source is one of the few options the aviation industry has for reducing its carbon footprint. While solar, electric and hydrogen-propelled aircraft are being researched, it is not expected they will be feasible in the near or medium term due to aviation's need for high power-to-weight ratio and globally compatible infrastructure. <laughs> Concerns and challenges Biodiesel that is stored for long periods of time is more likely to oxidize, especially at low temperatures, causing it to gel. Some additives improve the cold weather tolerance of biodiesel, but only by a few degrees. Nitrile-based rubber materials expand in the presence of aromatic compounds found in conventional petroleum fuel. Pure biofuels that aren't mixed with petroleum and don't contain paraffin-based additives may cause rubber seals and hoses to shrink. Manufacturers are starting to use a synthetic rubber substitute called Viton for seals and hoses. Viton isn't adversely affected by biofuels. The U.S. Air Force has found harmful bacteria and fungi in their biofueled aircraft, and use pasteurization to disinfect them. <laughs> <laughs> Industry commitments and collaborations The International Air Transport Association IATA supports research, development and deployment of alternative fuels. 
IATA thinks a 6% share of sustainable second generation biofuels is achievable by 2020, and Boeing supports a target of 1% of global aviation fuels by 2015. This is in support of the goals of the aviation industry reaching carbon neutral growth by 2020 and a 50% decrease in carbon emissions by 2050 relative to a 2005 baseline. A group of interested airlines has formed the Sustainable Aviation Fuel Users Group (SAFUG). The group was formed in 2008 in cooperation with support from NGOs such as Natural Resources Defense Council and the Roundtable for Sustainable Biofuels RSB. Member airlines represent more than 15% of the industry, and all member CEOs have signed a pledge to work on the development and use of sustainable biofuels for aviation. Boeing is joining other aviation related members in the Algal Biomass Organization. ABO. Topic: Production routes and sources. Jet fuel is a mixture of a large number of different hydrocarbons. The range of their sizes, molecular weights, or carbon numbers is restricted by the requirements for the product. For example, freezing point or smoke point. Jet fuels are sometimes classified as kerosene or naphtha type. Kerosene type fuels include Jet A, Jet A1, JP5, and JP8. Naphtha type jet fuels, sometimes referred to as wide cut jet fuel, include Jet B and JP4. Drop in biofuels are biofuels that are completely interchangeable with conventional fuels. Deriving drop in Jet fuel from bio-based sources is ASTM approved via two routes. Topic: <inaudible> BioSPK. The first route involves using oil which is extracted from plant sources like jatropha, algae, tallas, other waste oils, babassu and camelina to produce bio-SPK bio-derived synthetic paraffinic kerosene by cracking and hydroprocessing. The growing of algae to make jet fuel is a promising but still emerging technology. Companies working on algae jet fuel are Solazyme, Honeywell UOP, Solina, Sapphire Energy, Imperium Renewables, and Aquaflow Bionomic Corporation. Universities working on algae jet fuel are Arizona State University and Cranfield University. Major investors for algae-based SPK research are Boeing, Honeywell, UOP, Air New Zealand, Continental Airlines, Japan Airlines, and General Electric. FTSPK <laughs> 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 The second route involves processing solid biomass using pyrolysis to produce pyrolysis oil or gasification to produce a singers which is then processed into FTSPK Fischer-Tropsch synthetic paraffinic kerosene. Topic: <laughs> Future production routes. Further research is being done on an alcohol to jet pathway where alcohols such as ethanol or butanol are deoxygenated and processed into jet fuels. In addition, routes that use synthetic biology to directly create hydrocarbons are being researched. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commercial and demonstration flights. Since 2008, a large number of test flights have been conducted, and since ASTM approval in July 2011, several commercial flights with passengers have also occurred. Topic: 
Demonstration flights Commercial flights Environmental effects A life cycle assessment by the Yale School of Forestry on Jatropha, one source of potential biofuels, estimated using it could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 85% if former agro-pastoral land is used, or increase emissions by up to 60% if natural woodland is converted to use. In addition, biofuels do not contain sulfur compounds and thus do not emit sulfur dioxide. Many different standards exist for certification of sustainable biofuels. One such standard often cited by airlines is the one developed by the Roundtable for Sustainable Biofuels. Nearly all such standards include a minimum amount of greenhouse gas reduction and consideration that biofuels do not compete with food. Topic: See also Aviation and the environment Environmental effects of biodiesel Sustainable aviation fuel <laughs>